Hello, everyone. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Ocala, Florida for Abweb and Aviation Consumer. Behind me is an Eclipse EA500. This is an interesting airplane for a lot of reasons. One is that it's really quiet. I couldn't do this with many airplanes, much less a jet. We're going to take a ride with owner David Green to see how the Eclipse performs. By now, everyone knows the Eclipse story. A new airplane company bursts onto the scene, declares itself the rock star of the very light jet market, sells airplanes for less than it cost to build them, and eight years later, it's bankrupt. A new company, Eclipse Aerospace, is picking up the pieces. But that left 259 airplanes in varying degrees of completion, and David Green's Eclipse is one of them. His airplane has been upgraded with most of the avionics the original was supposed to have, and that includes a de-icing package. What that means is that his Eclipse is highly automated and integrated, amazingly quiet and fun to fly. It's also fast enough to push you back into the seat on the takeoff roll. We have extra power. Airspeed is alive. You'll see the bug coming down here. 10 degrees up, 10 degrees up. We have positive rate of climb to our uh, roll. Now you've seen how the Eclipse is automated as far as startup, and we've just taken off from Ocala, and David uh, let me do the takeoff. Did a great job, too. Thank you. This airplane is not stupid fast, but it's fast enough that if you don't pay attention, you can get behind it. I noticed that we were quickly up to 200 knots, so how do you cope with that? Now the main thing is just to get used to it and to always think about things uh, ahead of time. So you're thinking about the speeds that you want to go to. You're also thinking about making sure that you're setting up all of your approach speeds. You want to get your ATIS in there. You want to get any approaches in well before you get there. So almost after I take off, I'm thinking what the next step is going to be. What's the ATIS at the next airport? What are the frequencies I need to uh, you know to put in? Uh, what kinds of VREFs do I need to put in? And it's a fairly automated airport uh, airplane so that if you can get ahead of the airplane, it's really simple to do. Now, uh, the autopilot in this airplane is excellent. It has a good flight director. And you use that. Uh, I noticed uh, on, on takeoff from uh, Venice, uh, you were on the autopilot at uh, 500 feet. We are outside the airplane looking for traffic and you're setting up the, the next event. Absolutely. This uh, airplane flies so well on the autopilot. It's really a great autopilot and it flies it much better than I can. So we'll let the autopilot do what it's supposed to do. I'm a single, you know, single pilot. And I'm rated as a type rated for a single pilot in this aircraft. The only reason I could be a single pilot is I have a co-pilot. The co-pilot is my autopilot. So I use it. I probably am on the autopilot 95% of the time. Five minutes or so on takeoff before the autopilot gets on, maybe even three minutes, and three or four minutes before I land, that's when the autopilot goes off. For all its mistakes, one thing the original Eclipse company got right was the basic systems integration. Synoptics like these mean that a single pilot can easily keep track of the airplane systems. The basic airframe is right too. Check this out. While on autopilot, you can seesaw the throttles and the airplane barely notices. This airplane is obviously fast. It's economical. Uh, what's the best thing about it and what's the thing you most wish for? The best thing about it is it's really a sports car. It's an extension of everything that I ever wanted in aviation. I can go fast. I'm burning kerosene. I can go a thousand miles at 37,000 feet. I mean, I really am up there with the jet jockeys, and I feel that way, and I try to keep myself safe and prepared that way as well. So it's it's just a great air, airplane. And, uh, you know, there are some things that would be great if the airplane had some things like uh, maybe uh, anti-lock brakes and some other features that some of the other airplanes have. But really, for the envelope that this has, you know, it stalls at 67 knots. You can go 360 knots in it. Look at that envelope. It, it's a wonderful and a very safe airplane. Well, thanks for taking us for a demo, Dave. Well, you can see I'm enthusiastic. I hope a little bit of it rubbed off. Yeah, it was fine. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the cockpit of uh, November 500 uh, Delta Golf. We're uh, just south, uh, actually just a little bit uh, east of Tampa, Florida. You can find out more about the Eclipse 500 and the new Eclipse company in the January 2011 issue of Aviation Consumer. Out of 11 for 10, zero Delta Golf. And thanks for watching. Tampa.